Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film another get ready with me. I have filmed one of these before and I did just sort of an everyday makeup routine. So if you do want to find out what I wear on an everyday basis, then I'll link it down below. But today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm basically just going to play with some makeup today and I thought I'd film it. I'm going to do something a little bit Valentine's theme, sort of, something a little bit girly. Um, which is why I've got purple on. I have no idea what makeup I'm gonna do today, but I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know if you do like these videos. Please subscribe and like and comment down below. And let's get into it. I do actually have a new light set up. Um, this is my first time using it. It's very bright in my eyes. But let me know what you think. I have swayed from a ring light. I've always used a ring light for everything. Um, I don't know, recently I've just found that the lighting has not been the best and I don't know whether that's like the ring light dying or just maybe the ring light isn't the one anymore, I don't know. I just wanted to experiment with something a bit different. I ordered this one from Amazon and I saw a girl called Samantha, I follow her on Instagram and I actually met her at a benefit event around Christmas last year so she was so cute and her videos on Instagram always look so crisp and that's such amazing light so she links what she uses like equipment wise and I was like yeah I'm gonna try it and I, I really like it so far but I've not like seen it on the computer or anything so hopefully it will look good because yeah i really want to up my game in terms of like lighting especially for instagram like my reels i feel like they always turn out so blurry and dark and it is so frustrating honestly and i am my worst critic i feel like everyone is their own worst but yeah i upload it and i'm like i wish i didn't like it looks rubbish and i'm sure you guys don't think that hopefully you don't but like I said, I think we're all our worst critics, so let me know what you think on the new lighting. I have also just crimped my hair, um, and I did burn myself a couple of times. <laughs> if you can see some red marks, I put it too close to my neck, obviously. But I have just moisturised. I used this L'Oreal Triple Active moisturiser, and I just picked this up the other day because I've run out of my Bobbi Brown face base, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and the Laura Mercier one that I was using, I actually used it in my everyday routine. Um, and I've run out of all of those and they're all like my faves. So I just ran into Tesco when I was food shopping and I was like, right, I need a moisturiser. And I've been really liking this. So yeah, if you do want a dupe of like a nice thick moisturiser, this one's a pretty good one. It's the Triple Active Day Cream. This is so nice. This is from By Terry. It's just like a lip balm. And yeah, now I'm gonna get into the makeup. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, I do have a couple palettes that I think I'm gonna play with. This one I've played with before. It's got some nice pastels in it. And obviously I'm drawn to this color because it matches what I'm wearing. And this is just from Beauty Bay. Also this one from Too Faced because the pink in it, both pinks are so nice and sparkly so yeah i'm actually going out later um it is my sister's birthday today oh i feel like you're moving so we are actually going out for some dinner in a few hours not for a while but i have got my whole family coming to mine for some pre-drinks i guess because where we're going is like down the road from where i live um so yeah i just said everyone come over and i've set up like a cute little sort of party I guess um with some balloons some banners and some drinks so it should be nice so yeah I am getting ready anyways um and I thought I'd film it um I don't actually know if I'm gonna wear this out but I guess I mean like the blazer I probably will just keep the makeup on I have been loving the beautiful skin foundation from Charlotte Tilbury I'm sure you've heard about it um if you haven't where have you been it's so nice you'll see when I put it on my skin Maybe I should zoom you in a bit. I've got the shade two and I got this in PR and I was such an idiot, honestly. I was like, oh, mine doesn't come with a pump. Wait, I was like, oh, mine doesn't come with a pump. Like everyone's got theirs with the pumps and mine doesn't. And then I put this on TikTok and then someone was, I think a few people were like, you just pull it. <laughs> and I was like, right, it does come with a pump. Um, so yeah, I've got two, which is a little bit light for me. Um, and then I went in to buy the actual shade that I am, but it's sold out everywhere. Like this stuff is 
gold dust at the moment. So I got the shade seven um, for when I am tanned because it's still be really nice on holiday. But at the moment, I am just mixing the two. So I think my shade would be like five or something. I just put a few blobs here and there. And I am actually gonna try some new products today as well. Whoops. I don't even know if people still like makeup videos because I personally don't choose them as like stuff to watch, but like, once I find myself watching one, I, I do sort of get really into it. I wouldn't say I'm like a makeup video girl to watch, but I definitely used to be when I first started watching YouTube when I was much younger. If you don't know, then I am a makeup artist, so I do love doing makeup. I don't do it so much professionally anymore, but I did have a few questions asked actually. I think I mentioned in my decluttering video, was it? That I had like a makeup client that next day so i left my makeup out but uh, yeah i do still do makeup work here and there it's just not like full-time work for me mainly because people that do want makeup are usually going to an event or a wedding or some sort of occasion and that usually lies on the weekends which works for me to be honest because where i obviously do youtube and instagram and loads of other bits in between it's it's nice to just dip in and out of makeup. When I used to work in it, I was in a few industries. I worked in the film industry and I worked in like fashion, editorial for a little bit as freelance. But yeah, it is, it's full time. Like even though a lot of people might think that, you know, being a makeup artist or even doing YouTube and stuff isn't full time, it, it does take up a lot of time. And being in film especially, it was like six days a week, like. 14 hour days like it's crazy um so i wouldn't be able to do that as well as youtube but i don't know maybe one day i will go back into it because i did enjoy it so much it's just really hard to have a social life and balance other things when you are working in such an intense industry but yeah i just rambled for a bit <laughs> can you see how nice this foundation is like it's got such a nice glow to it the finish is like my dream foundation so nice i did actually get sent this um concealer from mac the other day and it brought back so many memories because i don't know if you guys know but your sense of smell well for me anyway i, I feel like this is a fact but your sense of smell is linked to memory is that correct i feel like i've heard it so many times that it must be but basically i used to always wear the mac pro longwear concealer and I don't know if this is the same and they've changed the packaging or it's a different concealer but as soon as I opened it I smelt it and it just brought back so many memories. I think it was like the first expensive concealer that I ever bought really because MAC was like the dream brand when I was I guess 13, 14. I used to buy the little glass yeah, I guess they are, maybe they're not. Little glass bottles and they were like, had a little pump. I'll try and find a picture and insert it somewhere. But yeah, I don't even know if they still do that. It was like the best thing ever. And yeah, I've just not really worn it since. I don't know why, because it was a really good concealer. Anyway, um, I got sent it in NC20. And I thought, you know what? I loved it so much at one point. Maybe I'll love it again. I am going to go a little bit heavier than i usually would because it is going to be dark outside and yeah this is sort of like nighttime makeup also the sponge that i love um i love a beauty blender but this one is from morphe i'm sure you've all seen it and i found it the other day and i was like wow I forgot how good that sponge was so i'm just gonna press this in it does look quite yellow but i feel like it works one thing i'm noticing from this light already is that it's very warm <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna get very hot filming this it's like a studio in here. I think in my everyday makeup routine, I did use a color corrector because I have been doing that recently, but I feel like with the shade, because it's a little bit yellow, I don't think I needed one. It's actually really good coverage. I'm really happy with that base. I think I'm gonna set and do powder, like bronzer, contour, blush, highlight. Actually, I just changed my mind <laughs> as I was talking. Because we're doing such a girly, cute makeup look, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand Blush. Whilst I've still got my base like not set, I love this so much. And 
it's running out i need a new one so yeah today is the 4th of february yesterday marked one year since i've lived in my flat which honestly i just i remember it like it was yesterday like i know it was only a year ago but i remember it so vividly it just feels like it can't be a whole year ago and i feel like a broken record when i say this but time just goes like when we were young if you guys are like a similar age to me i feel like a year was like the longest time ever and as you get older it just it gets shorter and shorter and shorter and i do sort of get scared that when i'm i don't know 20 years time is it just gonna keep getting faster um it's just mad so yeah i've lived here a whole year and and now tonight i'm hosting sort of we're going out for dinner but i'm doing drinks i am using the laura mercier translucent setting powder the best ever can you see i feel like i always show this difference unset set so so good okay that is my base on and i'm really happy with how it looks um i think i'm gonna go straight onto my eyes actually we'll do brows first and then onto the eyes my brows need doing so bad so please don't judge honestly they're terrible i don't even know how to zoom you in i've got a new lens on the camera as well and i don't know if it zooms i don't think it does okay i guess i'm just gonna move closer i feel like it, it must zoom but i'm just not sure how <laughs> brows i'm going to use the refi brow gel and just brush them up and then i'm gonna let that set and then just fill them in with a pencil they need doing quite desperately so you know i'm not a magician i'm gonna do my best oh i have a story to tell you all I, I, you, if you follow me on instagram and you watch all my stories then you'll be bored of this but basically the other day i went for lunch i was wearing these boots i've worn them a few times before but only to sort of like dinner and like a quick trip sort of thing and yeah i wore them to lunch and then i got back and i needed to walk into the town i was obviously wearing my boots and i thought okay i'll just go straight out like i've got shoes on um worst mistake of my life i walked into town it was fine really nice evening it was like i don't know four o'clock yeah i got like the other side of town walked in fine as i was like getting to the end of the town my feet really started to hurt I thought oh no like my boots are rubbing um i've not worn these for a long time before as you do you've got to power through and i just thought okay let's go back like i got what i needed to get and i turned back around but obviously where i'm the other side of the town i've still got to walk all the way back and it's not far but I'd say 10, 15 minutes, like, into where I was. I'm using the um, Gosh Ultra Thin Brow Pencil, by the way, in 002 Grey Brown. So, yeah, I was, like, I had no choice but to walk back. And all of a sudden, like, it went from hurting a little bit to literally scraping my skin off and i know this is sounds so gross um and if you're squeamish then maybe skip a couple of minutes ahead <laughs> i'm not gonna put photos in or anything like that don't worry but yeah it started to really hurt and i had to stop a couple of times and i really considered taking my shoes off to walk home along a main road i had socks on but i really considered walking home in my socks because people were looking at me i was already like limping you could tell my shoes were hurting me yeah i was like i can't walk home in my socks so basically i slid like the backs of the shoes off my heels because that's where it was hurting the backs of my feet they basically weren't on my feet anymore like they were really slipping off but that was my only hope to get home without ruining my feet um so yeah i had to walk for like 10 minutes with my boots falling off my feet pretty much on the verge of tears because i was still in so much pain and it just all happened so quickly like one minute they were hurting a little bit and the second minute i couldn't i couldn't bear it i didn't know what to do because it was getting dark as well but obviously I live here on my own so no one could pick me up because my sister does live up the road but she wasn't in and obviously I, I just couldn't wait like for someone to come pick me up because i was genuinely around the corner it was just a case of getting home by foot anyway i got back and i took um honestly it was the best feeling ever walking through my front door and i took my shoes off at the bottom of the stairs of my flat block actually and i ran up and it wasn't too bad obviously just like let them 
rest, no more shoes the rest of the day. Basically the next day I woke up and they've got even worse and they were just all like bruised. I've just sort of kept cleaning them, resting them, no shoes, just slides, even though it's been freezing. I really wanted to go to the gym, but I couldn't put shoes on. And to be honest, putting weight on them really hurt. Like it was so dramatic, it still is, to be honest. Um, and I put it on Instagram and a lot of you guys were like, you need to get Compede. I did know that, like I know that Compede is like the best. And I did actually have one, but it, it just didn't last for some reason. Last night I went to bed and thought, I'll wake up and it'll be fine. I had a dream about Justin Bieber actually. I've just broken my dream. <laughs> do you ever do that like when you start talking about your dream and then you realize what your dream was? I had a dream that I met him and got a photo and stuff, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this morning it was no better. So I still couldn't go to the gym, still can't really walk on it, but I did manage to get out and get some compedes and I put one on and within like two hours, basically not healed because it still really hurts but it's definitely got a lot better pointless blister story but it was so embarrassing to walk home with like my shoes hanging off my feet moral of the story don't go for a long walk or any walk with shoes that you don't know are comfy because it was actually the worst decision i ever made back to the makeup i have just put some bronzer in my crease just to warm it up a little bit now i'm gonna go in with the pastel lilac i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm just gonna put it all over we're gonna see what happens drag it up a little bit i always love these um like valentine's inspired looks i saw one earlier i saw soph do on instagram she got inspired from another girl but basically she put red lipstick on and then she got cling film and like put it on her eyes and it looked so cool just don't know where people come up with this stuff but yeah the effect was really cool okay put some lilac on looks cute i think i'm gonna go in with maybe this Hmm. I'm gonna go in with like a darker brown. It's actually a really nice palette. I don't think I've ever used it, maybe a couple times. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on the outer part. And it's just gonna be really smoky. I'm not gonna do anything like a sharp line or anything. I just want it to be quite soft. I'd be interested to know how many of you like do sort of copy um, like a Valentine's or like a Christmas look and actually wear it out because a lot of them are quite crazy and just for fun. I've also been seeing so many of the like euphoria looks and guys I've not watched it. I don't know I'm really bad with series like it has to you have to talk me into it for a long time before I sort of commit um, unless it's like a really short series like a few episodes um, like Squid Game I think I watched in like two days because it was only eight episodes wasn't it? um so yeah something like that i don't mind but yeah i keep seeing euphoria everywhere and all of like the gem rhinestones makeup looks and to be honest those makeup looks are bringing me in more than anything else because i feel like isn't it like sort of like a fantasy maybe not fantasy but they all sort of dress like futuristic let me know if you've watched it because maybe i need to i'm not sure i know zendaya's in it and I love Zendaya. Um, but isn't it quite, almost like violent and quite X-rated? I don't know if that's my thing, but it's not like a family show. I'd be interested to know if you guys like it. So yeah, I've just deepened up that lilac a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some pink. I'm gonna go in with this swizzle stick, <laughs> hot pink. And I'm just gonna take my finger. Got loads of like gold running through it. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. I hope you can see it. I really wish I was the person to play with some eyeshadow colors more because I used to do it so much on Instagram, but I even used to wear like darker and bolder eyeshadows out. So yeah, I really want to start doing that again. I guess I'm probably gonna wear this to dinner. That's a start, but yeah, I feel like I'm a wasted makeup artist. <laughs> I don't really do anything exciting like I know how to do it all and I used to do it back in the day but now I'm so boring when it comes to like dressing up and going out usually I'm in a rush that's why but yeah I just want to have fun with makeup again I just love how you can just do what you want with it I think by now you would have seen my 
vlog where I did some painting. I don't really see it in the background actually, yeah. It's similar to that, like there's no rules really of like where you put things and how much you do and you know, where you wear it, like just do what you want. And that is, I guess art, like makeup is art and I guess that's why I love it. Okay, I'm loving this. I don't know if you'll be able to see this properly, but I've just picked up the lighter pink, which is called Buzzkill. This palette is called Palm Springs Dreams, by the way. This is like a light iridescent pink. And I just wanna add some sparkle like everywhere, basically. Just want this to be really fun. Kind of editor editorial, like I'm gonna take it right up. It's nice because it catches the light. I feel like I want to do something with this. This is a Lime Crime Venus liner and it's in a baby pink. So what should we do with this? Maybe on the inner corner. Can you see that? I feel like it's added a bit of brightness. I quite like that. Oh, I really like that. Maybe we need more of that hot pink. Take it a little bit higher. I hope you can see all the, the shimmer picking up. Oh, do you know what I thought? I feel like this pink iridescent will be really nice as a highlight. I'm gonna save that. What's the time? Do you know what guys, it's five o'clock on a Friday night and I'm gonna be drinking tonight anyway, not like drinking, drinking, but I'm going out for dinner and drinks with my family. So I might go pour myself a little glass of some, some. I'll be right back. <laughs> I've just poured myself a, I really like a white wine spritzer. I like white wine, but I've gotta be in the mood to have it or quite drunk <laughs> to have it on its own. But yeah, I really like it with lemonade with some ice. Has this just turned into a tipsy get ready with me? I don't know. Oh, that is actually hitting the spot. I'm quite a sweet gal when it comes to drinking alcohol. I really like a sweet wine. Do not like red wine. No. I like a sangria, but that's because it's sweet. It's got like lemonade and orange juice. Like a cocktail, favorite cocktail. It's probably a mojito, which isn't that sweet. Yeah, I guess it is sweet, it's got sugar in it. I also like a porn star martini, classic. And I do actually really like Moscato, which is like a really sweet white wine and I love that on its own. Um, Jade Pierce actually introduced me to that a few years ago now. I think that's her favorite, maybe not, <laughs> favorite drink. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop on the eyes for now. Maybe do some mascara. By the way, with my hair, I crimped it and then I've just clipped parts back and then like, let the back sort of fall down, if you know what I mean. Mascara, roller lash, always. Always, always, always. Oh, I just, ignore me. I love this mascara, but I do want to try a new mascara. Um, God, is that wine going to my head already? This is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara, and I got this in PR, um, and it looks so luxurious and nice i'm not actually sure how much this retails for thank you guys so much but yeah i wanted to try it because i really do not stray from my benefit roller lash and i feel like i need to try some new things um so yeah i saw this today and i thought i'm gonna use that later it's quite a big one but not too big but i've not used it before so let's see okay feels nice still feel like it's not lengthening my lashes as much as my roller lash but it's definitely adding volume i'm not actually sure what it claims to do either but i feel like this is going to be nicer once i've done my base with roller lash because this is what lengthens my lashes so much i don't even know how it does it to be honest it just makes them so long this mascara is unbeatable in my opinion you see what i mean by like how long they go yeah i've just realized this video is not going to be going up on Valentine's Day, but it's going to be going up on the 13th. So tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Let me know what you're all doing. If you're celebrating like over the weekend. I actually don't know what my plans are yet. Um, but I probably will celebrate over the weekend just because it makes more sense. Maybe you're not into Valentine's. You don't really like the concept. I definitely get that. I think, you know, it's sort of a weird day. Nonetheless, I like to celebrate it a little bit but i guess not go like overboard okay so i've done my base with the roller lash now i'm going to go back in with the ysl i think this would be a really nice 
on top of this. It's definitely for a volume, I'd say. Okay, so now my face is looking a little bit washed out because we've obviously got the eye makeup on. No, like, bronzer, bronzer, and highlight and stuff. I'm gonna use a new bronzer. This one is from Laura Mercier, and it is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I have used this once already. But yeah, so far, it is right up my street. It's like a baked bronzer. I don't know if they're all like this, but they do have, like, an element of shimmer which I love. Um, I think it adds that sort of natural glow like you've been on holiday. And I used to use one from Accessorize years ago, like probably as like one of my first bronzers. And they discontinued it. This is good, actually. I feel like it's very similar to Matt Give Me Some. I actually don't really know the price difference. So maybe, I don't know, this actually might be more expensive than Mac. But one or the other is definitely a dupe because they are really similar. It's definitely got that tone of like sun kissed adding warmth to your face just makes such a difference down my neck oh that burn is quite bad isn't it i love this bronzer very good i'd love to do more like first impressions and um, makeup videos of like brands that i've not really used or products that i've not really used that i really raved about let me know if you'd want that slash like products that you want me to use because I've used a lot, but I'm sure there's a lot that I still haven't used. I'm also going to use a new blush from Laura Mercier, which is Blush Colour Infusion. Um, and I actually do use these, like this formula quite a lot, but this is in the shade Chai. Very cute name. And it's just like a peachy pink. Do you know what? I feel like we need some more pink on the eye. I'm going to go in with the same blush apparently even though i've got like hundreds of brushes i can't find another one so i'm going to use the same brush that i've used the whole time just dip it in the blush and just gonna put that through the crease a little bit more so it's a little bit more pink um so yeah that lilac that i put in i didn't really need but i guess i didn't really know what i was doing can you hear the ducks <laughs> i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose like i said i am going to use the pink highlight shade shadow shade for highlight um because i think it will tie in really nice and it will add that sort of iridescent yeah it's a little bit glittery but it's okay i'm gonna use it on my nose actually because i think it is a little bit glittery ofra glow goals and guys when i did my everyday makeup routine i didn't put highlight on i watched it back and i was like oh i never even realized um it's only recently yeah sorry about that i usually do put highlight on every day and i put it on the tip of my nose like that and on my cupid's bow and then on my cheekbones so yeah I lied in that video. I didn't really, but I did forget to put on highlight, which is not true. Okay, so before we do lips, I'm just gonna spray my face using the MAC Fix Plus Magic Radiance. Ooh. Ooh, just ate some of that. And I am looking very radiant. <laughs> I'm gonna tap that in with my blender. And then I don't know what to do for lips. I think just a neutral gloss to keep it a little bit more tame. Not that it's like very out there, but I just feel like the eyes sort of speak. I'll give you a little bit more of a close up at the end, but I am going to use, I'm gonna use my everyday liner, which is from Rimmel and I did use in my last video. Um, and it is called Tiramisu. And it's a really nice, like, my lips but better color i'm just going to overline the very top cupid's bow and then the very bottom just sort of drag that out with my finger because i don't want a really intense lip i'm gonna go back in with the moisturizing lip balm that i used at the very beginning bye bye terry bye bye terry drag that over the lip line and just sort of blend it I always make these applicates so dirty because I just put them over everything. Like this will end up like the color of that lip liner, but I really like it like that. I feel like we're done. We're done? I feel like we are. I hope you can see 
It's very sort of like as you move in the light colours. And then this is the skin. I'm really happy with how it turned out actually. I feel like it's it's pretty and it's like pink but not too, it's definitely wearable. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy Valentine's for tomorrow. And yeah, have the best day, whatever you're doing, whether you're with your loved one or your friends or on your own, whatever you do, I hope you just have a really nice day. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.